I guess my mass uh, doesn't change. I just change in size. Yeah, I think somehow. from my, and I, I, I guess that I'm pretty much aware of this and the thing happening in front of me, and everything becomes <laughs> something that <laughs> part like, of, a, of, of a bigger. <laughs> No, but it's, it's, it's probably it's supposed to be this way. That's my thought. Yes. He's angry. Yes. He's angry. And I'm in the middle, and that's perfect. You're just curious. Yeah, yeah, I'm we not get angry. It. <laughs> so yeah. uh, the Flecha Dorada is the next to go on phase three, and does uh, a huge uh, jump. The the golden being uh, springs high above the cosmonaut. And mm -hmm. springs high in the air with a huge curving jump that will land in the trees on the other side of Havsmanet. So it is truly a super jump, right? Boing! Right? To go over into those mm -hmm. trees. And I will do a quick <laughs> check as to what happens there. Um, and then I will also... Uh, Make sure that I am not cheating you of endurance costs. Oh, right. I've forgotten how much endurance that was. That was brutal. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, then. I need to keep an eye on their endurance, too, because I don't want you guys burning it and running out, and I let them get away with it. Okay. Um, Can I, uh, now it's my now I is if uh, he has kind of frog leaped into a birch tree somewhere, right? Like that exactly. Right. Uh, I said was the forested light, area was a little bit thick there. So it, well, it's a, a quite impressive jump, oh, not yeah. uh, really. Yeah. So and and I have a couple of questions in you. Uh, um, and and what I'm asking for is what I I would see if I was a person standing next to this, or and it's not a part of a supernatural. Uh, is is this a person wearing a suit, or is this hmm. some it's kind a of being? very very good question? And you went up and looked right at them in a curious way. It uh, is completely uh, legitimate to ask this question. It is a human being, but they are. Uh, in fact, I'm even going to roll for their unusual looks. There we go. Ooh, yes, they are they are creepy. They are creepy froggy. The the way that the the the, the, the joints are angled relative to the body, uh, the fact that uh, the the rubberiness seems to be uh, the the goldenness. It's actually quite hard to tell whether that is a suit or not. It is either mm. really super, super lycra, like really yeah. like plastic wrap thin lycra. Sprayed on. Right? Or <laughs> it is at least in part them. And uh, the, it, you do you think it's a This person, intrigues me face, even more. The face is a human face with goggles. Don't get me wrong. You are not uh, seeing a okay. monster face. It is a human face uh, with goggles. It is a human being, but it is really creepy looking in its off human joint structure and the the rubberiness of its movement. Um, and so that is that is what you can see. There is also a kind of interesting. There are some kind of uh, markings that have been painted onto the face, like under the goggles and on the face here, mm. there are some, some ritual stripes and perhaps permanent marks of some kind that, uh, that are clearly on the person's actual skin. Um, the, uh, th that's, that's definitely what you can see. And, All right. Um, cool. Uh, now the uh, th this is a deeply unSwedish nature reference and cultural re reference, um, and that's for sure. Um, so next we have uh, that. So that uh, is is that my, my move? Is that no, a kind of awareness? No, that or? was just that was just uh, 
what what I just told you was yeah. merely catching up from the last time. Yeah. Now Good. we are finding so, out what you are doing. I and I, I'm I'm talking I, I'm thinking out loud there because I could either like try to uh, it depends on how if, if I want to walk up to him and then weaken his ego that would be like two th stuff to, two things to do to is first. that something yeah and and if I burn out my my flight and that would in in um, in comic book <laughs> in, in 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 the comic that would not look like super speed it would more like, look like like some kind of dimensional shift where I flicker and 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 move in a strange way that makes me. Uh, it doesn't. When you say burn out, is that a, a limitation on your flight? No. No. What, what I'm mean? saying is that it, uh, if can I use extra endurance to yes, get to him yes, after you, without? Yes. I mean, if he's doing that, like I move towards him, he jumps away. I move towards, and that becomes. So I have to do something more. Yes. So now you're so going to I, blaze over there as fast as you can, right? Yeah. And more. That's fine. Yeah. So uh, and, and yes, but uh, in order to be able to do something more, so and I maybe I'm not able to do that. You he are seems to be in this. To uh, all right. Oh, oh. Do you mean to do something after that? No, it is a full move. Exactly. That's right. that's what he's right. looking at. You can get to him, but or where you think he is, but it is a full move to do it. <laughs> um, and so that is your your situation. Um, so the uh, so at this point you right, okay, to realize yeah. this guy is kind of a kind of a slippery little bastard in terms of actually hunting down and catching, right? So uh, and because I um, the way I thought my weak and ego works is that I have to be in some kind of you say burnout severe is is connected to that I, I i don't remember what that was can i tell but you there's yes you can okay when you attack someone with your weakened ego it will yeah. work you may or may not hit but it will work yeah. after you use it then we roll to see if it stops working that's what burnout means it will work. So and then the we effect to will burn out. Stops, right? Okay. And so severe means that if it burns out, you're going to have to go out of combat and play with your suit for a while to fix it. All right. You. If so it is a what, mild what burnout, is burning you can out? Do it as an action. If it is a severe burnout, you're like, well, screw that for now. That's the end of it. All right. For now. So what my question was, I, I what I I was thinking is that I have to be in like close proximity to to him to I make him we can go. What I wanted to do is to, to get not right next to him and then like right. try to get my my Let's cosmic. Let's start with uh, getting next to him. Let's start with that. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So you are going to have yeah. to use all of your flight. And that will get you yeah. there because you have 20. Uh, the, he is about 15 hexes away now. And you can do 20, correct? No, no, I think uh, flight 15. Flight 15, okay. Uh, so yeah. you can go there. If you want to go there with perhaps with some force, um, you, yeah. then you can push your flight. But I think that you probably won't. You can just use all of your flight to go. That's okay. Yeah, I will do that. Okay. That's going to cost you three endurance, and you're going to buzz over there, um, and you will land in that region. Now, I want you to make uh, a perception check to try to get to the spot where he went. Uh, okay. I'm because he jumped my... into the bushes and trees. All oh, right. And you were like, okay. oh, can I, you know, I need to get to that mm -hmm. spot it's good it's not quite i'm that looking obvious. for so go ahead mm -hmm. i don't i don't see perception it's just your intelligence oh, yeah okay all right uh 
that's 13. So I roll and it's one and a four and a five. So Perfect. that's 10. Right. So, so that's, that's no a... problem. Spend the endurance. You fly right there. Since his jump was a full move, he did not have time to use his stealth. So <laughs> by hitting that spot, when you arrive, you're right there face to face with them. Okay. Can I ask an extra question here? Okay, Ola, I'm going to uh, have to give you a question budget because you have to understand this is really getting really a lot of questions. Um, yeah, but this is a relevant question okay. to the situation because okay, and um, you can say you are not allowed to ask that right now, but I saw Sanjeev from uh, from at first, so yeah. I want to know if he's is he jumping towards that towards him. You are asking the right question, the relevant question, and it makes and you know this because your awareness had placed Sandir already. Yeah. And fortunately, he, being an ordinary person, has not been able to go yet. So he's still uh. stuck in the same spot. <laughs> so you realize when you get there and you see this being, this person, and you can you know that Sandir is like right here, yeah. right here. It's you, the three of you are in very close proximity. Okay. Yes. Um, All and right. uh, do not forget that saying things is free. Yeah. You are allowed to say things whenever you want. Um, all right. Yeah, that, that's okay. Um, uh, the the oh, I can say that <laughs> Sandir is saying something in a language that you are not familiar with. All right. Yeah, that's that makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I. Yeah. All right. It's some kind of Nate. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, um, I was, of course, thinking of the obvious hide or get away uh, mm -hmm. or something like that. But it, it seems too silly in the context. It's like some someone saying to someone with a like large boulder rolling towards them, "Run away!" <laughs> this, Obviously, you have not so, read the right kind of comic books. Not only do you, I was going to say, not only do you say that, but the word balloon has little spikes. Instead of a yes, sound. Yeah, yes. <laughs> um, actually, it's probably a good idea. You can make this a presence attack, which would mean that Sandir would be deeply influenced to do it. And that is for free, yeah. costs no endurance, and takes no time in the comics. So if you want yeah, him it, to uh, do something safe that you think is more safe, do a presence attack. Yeah, I want to do that. I, I want him. I want to tell him something that that makes uh, makes him move to a much safer place. And that's Perfect. could be like uh, uh, if I am uh, allowed to, I, I would do the improbable, and that would be like jumping um, from um, doing going in a direction that is not very that is not probable. If you're, you're so just jumping down a hill or something like that. So I'm trying, trying to tell him that. Got it. Now I want you to uh, to give me, tell me your presence. How many dice do you have there? Uh, 2d6. Okay. So now fortunately, uh, you have, uh, fortunately, you are known in the region. Fortunately, uh, you have exhibited a power that's plus one. Um, you're making sense in what you're saying. That's plus two. And um, so, yes, you will roll. That's all you get. And there are no no penalties from my list here. So you have four die six. Roll. Four die six. Yes. Yep. Uh, and uh, do I want high or low or you want? High. And this, this is the, yeah. So I have two. This is this where I count the six. Yes. And, and yes. Yes. The core. Yeah, uh, I don't. Yeah. So I have 
Uh, one, three, one, four, one, five, and another five. Perfect. So your total so, is four, right? Yeah, I guess so, because right. six is two, and the other ones right. are... The yeah. ones are zero. Yeah, yeah so I have four. Yeah. So I rolled his presence as well, and the difference is two. On my table, Sandir is very impressed, will consider the content of the presence attack seriously, and um, and and that's what that's what they do. He is a little bit startled and frozen from this. He, he's staring yeah. at you, you know, like that. But yeah. on the other hand, is uh, is very impressed, understands what you say, and will act upon it. Yeah. So that's good. 